six unknown bands, three different cities, a bunch of very intense challenges, one shot at breakthrough success. That is MTV2's Do Circuit Breakout Challenge in a nutshell. And it starts today in New York when we send one of our two competitors to the live finale December 10th. Don't move. It all kicks off next. Snant. Hi everyone, welcome to MTV2's Do Circuit Breakout Challenge. I am Jim Shear here with Tyson from the All-American Rejects. Welcome Tyson. Thanks. And a couple years back, Mountain Dew teamed up with Freedom Zone to form the Amp Six Pack Circuit, a cool way to help up and coming bands get airplay on college radio. Now over the next three days, MTV2 is taking the top six Amp Six Pack bands as chosen by college radio directors and putting them in the test in three different cities. Each day, one band will advance to our live finale on December 10th in New York City, where they will battle it out for the ultimate promotional package and opening slot on a major U.S. tour, one-on-one -on -one meetings with top industry players, and a week-long appearance on MTV2. This is what they need to follow in the footsteps of Amp Six Pack breakout bands like Taking Back Sunday, Yellow Card, and one of last year's semi-finalists, Hawthorne Heights. Today's challenge is in New York City, and Tyson here will be judging the band, not only on music, but also how well they handle the work that goes into promoting it. Now, there's a lot more involved than just playing a guitar. You've got to have the complete package, correct, Tyson? Yeah, you've got to plug it in, you've got to play it, and you have to sound good doing it. And you have to whore yourself out to everyone. <laughs> there's a little bit of whoring that... Right. But nobody pays for it, because that, that's illegal. And we're gonna get started with our first competitor from the wilds of New Jersey. Here's Hidden in Plain View. My name is Joe Rio, I'm the lead vocalist. My name is Rob Freeman, I play guitar. I'm Spencer, and I play drums. My name is Chris Amato, and I play bass. My name is Mike Stafford, and I play guitar. So we're at Hidden in Plain View. We've been a band for five years. I think back then, I don't think we knew what we were doing with anything. I think we were honestly just getting together with our friends and playing shows. Growing up in New Jersey with shows, it was hard. VFW halls and firehouses was where shows yeah. were happening. Our first CD EP release party just here. It's always bigger in your memory, you know, all like the old shows. I want to see what you can do with this, all right? We're definitely like a collaborative band when it comes to writing music. I think our best songs come out when like Mike picks up the guitar and he's just like show me one thing. I'm like, oh cool. Spencer plays a beat to it. And then Chris joins in and then cool, that's a cool part. Where should we go from there? We just kinda of evolve. I think you got it. The thing about playing a show, the most rewarding I should say, is just seeing the kids sing back. You can hold the mic out and almost hear the kids coming out of your monitors. Um, Sometimes the stage is lighter than the yeah. I think Warped Tour was a big surprise to us. It was really rewarding. We definitely saw things grow. The largest leap the band has taken. Probably like in 2004 Warped Tour we were playing to an average of 500 to 2,000 kids in a day, whereas this past summer, you know, a thousand to two thousand kids a day. I can see myself in this band ten years from now. As long as we can go to every single city and play for five hundred kids, they're stoked to be there. I'll be in the band. Hidden in plain view. What do you think? Good stuff. Good stuff. Uh, I like the band. The music. It's uh, it's a little familiar, uh, which could work towards their advantage later. I don't know. I don't know. Because if they do reach the finals, I think they'll fare well because they've got a very energetic live show. By Tyson, they will have to compete against this man right here, Pete Miser. My name is Pete Miser. I'm a hip hop artist from Portland, Oregon, originally, but now I live in the People's Republic of Brooklyn. I kind of got my chops. I learned how to do my thing in Portland's hip hop scene, and then I figured New York is the birthplace of hip hop, so come here. This is is how we get down. Show your love if you like how we I know that I'm not just on the same typical themes of most hip hop. I don't talk about my rims. 
stand like, cause I don't have any rims. Shh. I pride myself on having like the weirdest hip hop stuff out. We love doing your toothbrush. My albums are usually the product of me alone when I don't have a date, <laughs> like writing songs. The track is usually the first thing I do. This is where I grab old dusty drums and they end up going through the mixing board and into the computer where they become hot joints. I really love being in the studio. Like, that's where it's at. And then we just get to rapping and scratching. The live thing, we interpret what I do in the studio. I love my band members. All of them are super bad. Keith Golden on the bass, AKA Goldzilla. Alex Alexander on drums. Robert Mueller, the weird scientist on keys. And DJ Blowout, who is a hip hop renaissance man, an MC, a producer, and a barber. It's the best barbershop in the neighborhood. Guys, here's DJ. Gotcha. As an independent artist, I spend more time marketing music than I do making music. I spend a lot of time going to the post office, sending out mail orders. If you want to meet Pete Miser, go to the post office. <laughs> Pete Miser, adding a little hip hop flavor to the mix. You, you like? I'm feeling it. It sounds different. It sounds like kind of rootsy, but uh, with, uh, you know, a little bit more uh, grit and uh, work. You've got personality too. With a capital P. Yes, and that goes a long way, my friends. Now we have met Pete Miser, we have met him in plain view, and now it's time to see him perform, and I'm not talking about on stage. We created a series of challenges to test their metal, their street smarts, and their hunger to make it in this business called music. Check it out. Your challenge is to convince a store to sell your album. The catch? Do not! Under any circumstance, step foot in a music store. Now you will get two points for getting your CDs into the store and an additional point for each CD you sell. Get to it. Start the stopwatch. Let's go. We're a band. We have our CD. I wonder if you can put our CD here on display and try and sell them. Whatever we sell, we'll give you the money. Okay. Cool. Thanks, man. Awesome. Awesome. What's your name? Patel. I'm Rob. Thank you. We gotta go to an independent store that will have more love for the independent artists. We can go to Triple Five Soul. We could go to um. Ah, oh, Brooklyn Industries. Come on. Wondering if um you'd want to maybe buy our CD. Would you be down? Thank you very much. Awesome. Thank yeah, you. Here you go. Anybody else want to buy a CD? They're for sale right here. As you see, I rep B.I. to the fullest, so you gotta show me some love. All right. Okay, so you're carrying them? I'm carrying them. Do you like rock music at all? No. I'm wondering if you are interested in hip hop and if I could sell you one of my CDs. How much? $473. <laughs> but for you, I'll give it to you for 10. 10? Oh, I got 10. All right, see, that's what I'm talking about. Hook a brother up, man. Oh, you are amazing. Thank you so much. Thank you guys. Five to 10. Yeah. Okay, I'm the poor guy. I give you ten, okay? All right, man. Can you like give us like a demo or something? <laughs> oh wow! I'm, I'm, uh, yeah, I can give you a demo. I'm just your average everyday basket case. When I was young, plastic glasses with the mask and tape. Hey, yo, we hit twenty. We did. Yes. We did it. Thank you very much. Thanks. We're killing him. We're killing him out here. Oh, we did it. Hey, we got we're two minutes to spare. We did it all, man. Right. Good job. So we sold 20 CDs. I really did not expect to do as well as we did in this round. Woo! Right here. Yeah, right here. All righty, that's the first challenge. Both good. did okay. Good warm up. I liked it. They didn't play in view. <laughs> they, uh, they did the whole newsstand thing, giving all their proceeds to the newsstand vendor, which is sweet. And, uh, you know, then you got Pete Miser. Pete. Pete. Petey. Yeah, he, uh, he did great. He was selling in a clothing store, which I thought was difficult. Both parties involved sold 20 CDs each, so it was a tie. Um, keep in mind, we have more challenges where that came from after the break. Meanwhile, go to MTV Overdrive to learn more about Hinden Plainview and Pete Miser, and one of them is headed to the live finale December 10th. Keep that in mind.
right here in New York City. More of MTV2's Do Circuit Breakout is on the way. Welcome back to MTV2's Do Circuit Breakout. It is day one of our challenge. Two bands going head to head in New York City to see who advances to our live finale on December 10th, where they will battle it out for the ultimate promotional package. And with me judging today is Tyson from the All American Rejects. I'm still here. And uh, before the break, we had uh, the bands selling their CDs on the street. Now we're going to have them take the next logical step. Watch. You have to start at the bottom here in New York City. That's just the way it is. So before you can play the clubs, you gotta get some street cred. Your challenge is to find some street performers, convince them to let you borrow their instruments and play one of your songs. Since you're playing on the street, you deserve a little compensation. So you'll get a point for every dollar you collect in tips. Got it? Good. Get to it. <laughs> you gotta be oh, I think we should go up to Washington Square Park. I think we should find some people and just muscle them for their, their gear. Oh, let's do this. Let's go ahead and make a cowboy. One, two, three, cowboy! I'm Joe. This is my band. We would love if you would let us borrow your guitar so we can play one of our rock songs to you. Love you. Are you wearing the underwear too? Yeah. I'm wearing underwear, yeah. I have a huge favor to ask you. We have 45 minutes to find a street musician who will lend us his instrument and let us play a song. You are the man! Puzzle look, you stand to me, it says you put me back together. <laughs> Here, put some of this in your shoes. Oh, no. We're in a competition with some band from Jersey, and we stay in New York, so what's the deal? Y'all gotta show some love. Tell me why, please. Cats gonna mess with me when all I wanna do is MC y'all about to get all for me like the breeze and tell me why all of y'all think that all in all it don't matter no what y'all say just as long as y'all get paid. It looks like we have 25 minutes left. So we can go down there if you want and go to the other people. Yeah, yeah. There's some more performers down there. Let's do for you. This is to the lovely ladies in the front row. I chase down too many cabs for you. I firmed up my chest and abs for you. Just wait and you'll see you're everything I want. Don't take this from me. 15 points because we because Joe hooked us up. Alright. Four and five dollars. So that's a total of what, 18 all together? 17. <laughs> On to the next, on to the next challenge. Challenge number two. What do you think? It's good stuff. It's good stuff. Uh, Pete had his little hip hop stomp thing going on. Uh, Hidden in Plainview did the Naked Cowboy thing. Uh, you know, I think they stole a little extra because uh, Naked Cowboy shelled it out of his undies. Which is very, very Yeah, very nice of him. He is, he is. Way to go, Naked fun. Cowboy. And uh, it is time for our next challenge. And Tyson, do you remember signing your first autograph? I vaguely do. Uh, I messed up the first time I signed on again. <laughs> Definitely. Um, anyway, we are now going to put our bands to a test of signing skills. And all of this comes with a little twist. Bust out those Sharpies, because for this challenge, you are heading to a local music joint for an on-the-spot record signing. And no, not your own record. What you gotta do is you've gotta elect one member of the band to sign any album someone buys. We're talking Britney Spears, Shakira, 50 Cent. So do that right now. <laughs> All right. My mind's racing. We are here, Union Square, Virgin Megastore. We're like to keep the signer, but we're the recruiters. I don't, we really don't have a plan. We do, we do have a plan. So we gotta roll up on people, get them to bring their records over to Keith, all right? Well, we're just gonna either be straight with people and say, you know, we're in a competition for MTV2, or we're gonna say that we're celebrities. Can you get my bass player to sign your CD for me? Hey, we're having signing over here. 
You don't want this guy to have... I was wondering if we could sign your CDs. That's all we have to do. All right. Excuse me. We're having a little signing right here. You guys, you guys aren't doing anything. I hate you. You're all fired. Uh, just the cover. Uh. Oh, come on. Now, seriously, he's right. Look how cute he is, too. Bobby, Bobby, come here. Bring your Sharpie over here. Man, how are you going to sign Marvin Gaye, man? Come on. Mad Bills, yo. Just wondering if our bass player could sign your CD. Sure, man. Cool. Dr. Dre, uh -huh. I think we're doing okay. You guys think we're doing okay? Uh, Bob's racking this in. It's not hard. The guy. Thank you so much, sir. We're supposed to, like, yeah, all right, be easy. If anybody here has a CD, we're signing CDs for a good cause. Who are you? Keith Golden. If I can sign just the, the cover thing? Less than 10 minutes left. 22, 23, and 24. We got two. Awesome. Five. Four, three, two, one. Next Happy time. New Year! The last challenge. And how do you think they did on this one? That was a ball buster. That was tough. <laughs> uh, I, I think that uh, the fact that Pete Miser had his man doing the Marvin Gaye signing. You can sign a CD that most people make love to. Ten points. And I, I think we got a pretty good sense of how both of these bands are at the the promotional part of music and all of the leg work that, that's involved. But uh, after the break, it is all about the music and it's all about who gets a trip to the live finale on December 10th. So head on over to MTV Overdrive for more info on the bands. And ladies and gentlemen, MTV 2's Do Circuit Breakout, we will be right back. Welcome back to MTV2's Do Circuit Breakout Challenge, day one, New York City. We are here with Tyson from the All-American Rejects, and we are about to decide which of our two unknown bands, Hidden in Plain View or Pete Miser, are going to advance to our live finale on December 10th to compete for the ultimate promotional package, which will take them to the next level on their quest for superstardom. Now we've put them through a bunch of challenges designed to test their commitment to the hard work of becoming a success. Now we're going to see what they can do on stage in front of a live audience. Both Pete Miser and Hidden Plain View get the same venue, the same crowd, and what they do with it is up to them. I'm here to see Pete Miser. I like his band, I like his lyrics. You gotta check it out. Hi. It's gonna be fun tonight. Cool. I'm gonna see my back. We're here to see Hidden and Plain View. They're really good. Go Hidden and Plain View! Woo! Woo. Let's make some noise, New York City. Come on. Savage packs for miles on these quiet suburban roads. And all the rubber nagging strangers that I see these phantoms alone. Because he's all alone. There's no books and holes. When it's open grave. Thank you so much, Celeste. Our performance tonight was awesome. I had a good time on that stage. It was good. And then play you. I got a love for any independent group. That's that's real. All right, y'all. Nod your head to this, y'all. So sensitive, y'all. Pete Miser, live five. Greenpoint player, Portland, Oregon, original rhyme sayer, Captain Crossfader, weigher, buck fifty with the backpack, still dumb enough to slap Shaq and tell him that he raps whack. A loose screw, nothing like what you used to. I swoop through with my crew who abuse the rules, used to chill out, getting dogged by bras before they're old enough to fill out. It ain't easy being me with all these insecurities. I'm such a sensitive MC 
But mama never told me I have days like this I need a hug I want a hug I need a hug Mama never told me I have days like this I need a hug crowd definitely felt the funk. You might as well have the beats. Yeah. Bass player was jamming. Did we have one? I had a great time all day. Our experience today was amazing. There you have it. Tyson, what did you think of the performances? Pete was great. He had the crowd from the top to the bottom. Uh, Hidden in plain view. They had all their kids singing out there with him. Only one can go to the final. And that's up to you. Your decision will be based upon the performance, the attitude, they, what, the way they performed in the challenges. So who should we call? Should we call Pete Miser or Hidden in Plain View? My body says Hidden in Plain View, but my heart says Pete. Pete Miser! Yeah! Can we get Pete on the line? Hello. Pete! What up? Um, guess who I'm here with? Uh, I have no idea. The president? Close. Hello. Pretty close. Tyson from the All-American Rejects. All right, what's happening, man? How's it going, man? I'm uh, Awesome. You did a great job out there. Uh, dude, you you won. You're going to the finals. I'm going to the finals. You're going to the finals, man. Yeah. Put on your birthday suit. I've got to ask, Pete, how do you feel? I feel pretty good. I feel pretty excellent right nice. now. Nice. Thank you for the call, man. So, Pete, we will see you December 10th on our live finale. Bring your A game. All right, I'll do that. And so ends day one of MTV2's Do Circuit Breakout. Thanks to both bands for showing up and giving their all. And you can get more info on both Pete Miser and Hidden in Plain View on MTV Overdrive Plus. Preview the bands that will be competing tomorrow. Two new bands for Tyson to put through the ringer. We shall see you then.